shows that by about 60% margins, well, not margins of 60%, but 60 to 50%, roughly, 60 to 40%, people support a ban on, on abortion at the point where a child can feel pain at 20 weeks. So we have the public support for it, we have a moral calling to do it, and I think um, that this is something that needs to be a top priority of this legislative session, and I'm glad to be co-sponsoring this with Representative Regner, and I know that there will be many of my colleagues who will be signing on, a number of them mentioned it to me this morning. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Christine, and she's going to comment on a few other aspects. Good morning. Uh, my name is Christina Rogner, and I am represent the northeast portion of Summit County, and thank you all for coming here today. Uh, as legislators, we work on crafting good public policy um, to improve the state for those in it now, but also for generations to come. Uh, we focus on policy that will help improve an environment, inviting um, private businesses to thrive, to improve the economy, to improve education for our Buckeye students, to improve infrastructure. But one of the most important things that we can also do as legislators is to protect those that are truly the most innocent and the most vulnerable among us, the unborn. I do believe that life begins at conception, and as a woman and as a mother of three daughters myself, I can personally attest to the miracle of human life and its amazing sanctity at every step of development. What we as mothers instinctively have known, uh, science and medic medicine community are backing up now uh, with significant proof that these unborn babies uh, are aware and they do respond. Just a few facts to consider. At six to seven weeks of age, uh, of gestation, six to seven weeks of gestation, the pain receptor is already present in the baby's uh, body and there's a beating heart. At eight weeks of gestation, the babies respond to touch. At 12 weeks of gestation, the baby responds to external stimuli. If the mother's abdomen is poked, the baby will try to wriggle away. At 16 weeks, the arms are long enough that if the hands touch, they can grasp each other. They're aware of light. The eyes have become sensitive to light uh, from outside of the mother's uh, abdominal wall. And at 20 weeks, the baby can already hear and respond to sounds from outside the uterus and the pain receptors are fully present throughout the baby's body and as Senator Lane said, the baby can feel pain. In prenatal surgery, fetal anesthesia is routinely administered. Our legislation would prohibit abortions after 20 weeks uh, when the unborn baby can feel pain. This legislation is a critical piece of the strategy to end abortion. It challenges one of the uh, pillars of Roe versus Wade, an additional compelling interest uh, which is independent from the viability standard, that's the capacity to feel pain. It's an intri intrinsic measure and it's a milestone in human development. It's also, I find, very sad to note that the United States is one of only seven countries in the world that allow abortion after 20 weeks of gestation, um, that including North Korea and China. In fact, in 2013 alone, here in Ohio, there were over 300 abortions after 19 weeks of gestation. It's time to end this atrocity. Each one of those lives matters, is precious, and deserves to be protected from the pain of abortion. I am proud to be co-sponsoring uh, this legislation in the House, along with Representative Cuff, and with our colleague over in the Senate, uh, Senator Lehner. And I'd just like to thank Ohio Right to Life for their support of this bill. Uh, and for all of you here this morning. And I'll turn it back over to Stephanie. 